Joel chapter 3, verse 4. Joel chapter 3, verse 4. And it says, Indeed, what have you done? What have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coast of Philistia? Will you retaliate against me? But if you retaliate against me, swiftly and speedily I will return your retaliation upon your own head. Amen. Praise the Lord. Indeed, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the coast of Philistia? Will you retaliate against me? But if you retaliate against me swiftly and speedily, I will return your retaliation upon your own head. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, we, we've spent a lot of time in Joel. It must be a season. This, this book really talks about these days that we're in and the last days. Uh, but in this particular verse, I felt that the Lord put it in my heart to give us a, a specific kind of perspective of what this means to God. Uh, Tyre and Sidon and the coast of Philistia were not his people. They were those who were against his people. And notice that he says that they were retaliating against him. He didn't say my people. He does note later that the people of Judah and Jerusalem, he, they have sold to the Greeks. So he's talking about his people, but he's talking about retaliating against him. And what I feel that God is saying is that whenever God messes with us, whenever outside entities, spiritual works of darkness or people being used by the enemy mess with us, they're messing with God. In Exodus chapter 16, we see an example of this. When they complained against Moses and Aaron and, and his sister, uh, Miriam, uh, Moses says to, to the people, what are we? Your complaints are not against us, but against the Lord. Because if we are his, he sees it as himself. And so when people do things to us, they do it to God. Matthew chapter 25, Jesus says, And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. So there's plenty of evidence that God takes it personally when we, his children, are being persecuted. Uh, whatever people are doing to us, they're doing to him. And I believe he's giving us assurance that we can let go. We don't have to fight our battles. We don't have to hang on to unforgiveness or anger or bitterness or take revenge because God is looking, and he is looking after his children. And if people retaliate against us, they're retaliating against him. And he will swiftly and speedily return their retaliation upon their own heads. It's his battle. The battle is his, says the Lord. We can trust in him. We can let go. And we can love and pray for our persecutors, the people who are uh, our enemies, uh, because they know not what they do, and trust that God will will bring justice, and God will redeem us as well. That's, I believe, what he wants us to remember today. So, Heavenly Father, we, we ask you, Lord, to help us really believe this, to really believe that we can give every battle to you and know that you're not asleep, you're not looking some other direction, you're there with us, and you, you're experiencing everything we are, and we can leave it up to you to bring all the retaliation and the justice and everything you want to do on our behalf and for your glory and for your name's sake so we can rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.